so many folks, they, they make a mistake in their life, whether it's trafficking or just possession of drugs, um, and that can hold them back from employment, and, and it sometimes folks don't feel like they have any other options, um, and, and they end up in trouble with the, with the law, they end up in jail. Um, this helps them become more part of the community if they can get that expunged. They become employed and, and they feel, really feel like they're a, a member of their community. So you can get misdemeanors expunged and of course traffic violations, but you can also get most Class D felonies expunged at this point. Now we can get certain trafficking offenses expunged. You know, maybe someone's just had um, a, a misdemeanor drug possession, things of that nature. We can have we can get those expunged now, which enables people to get housing, employment, things like that, to provide them more stability. Yeah, I've, I've talked to so many people who um, who are in college and maybe just one small criminal conviction is holding them back from really getting into the program that they want, um, be it a nursing program or even a, a teaching program and it's so important to them because they realize what they really want to do with their life and, and it's important for, for me personally to be able to help them achieve that in some small way because they're working so hard for it anyway. The expungement is very important because you know myself I have felonies on my record that I occurred during my act of addiction and uh, within less than a year I will be able to expunge those charges and my record will then be clean. The expungement in the job fair and the addiction re recovery services are very important. I think it goes hand in hand for all the community partners that is here today because you know we can we can help help them in each part, each stage of their life or recovery. This has changed the whole course of my life. I spent 18 years in addiction, off and on, but a total of 18 years almost. I'm three years, coming up on three years sober. I have a job, I'm a peer support specialist for the state of Kentucky. I just enrolled in college two weeks ago and, and I'm just now starting my second week of school. I'm no longer receiving state assistance. I have steady employment. I'm, I'm a member of my community now. I'm a productive member of my community now. I would encourage anybody to take, to take opportunity and, and come and you know come and check us out. Come and see us. Call us. You know, intake has got their their line is 24/7. It's 6380938. Uh, There's always somebody there to take that call. If I had not have taken the step, if my parole officer had not have took that time to walk me across that street, I would not be here today. I wouldn't be alive. But it is absolutely one of the best, most rewarding things I have ever. I've ever done in my life. My life, like I said, I would not be here if I had not have walked across that street and began that journey. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to lie and say I wasn't scared and I wasn't even willing really. I mean, I'm not going to say that I was. I, I really wasn't willing, but I thank God daily that, that I was put in their care.